Hey, Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pens. How are we doing out there today? Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens for another fountain pen review. Today, I am going to have one of my favorites fountain pens that I really do enjoy using. And it's a German-made pen. A nice German nib. Not a big nib, a small nib. What is it called? Fiber-Castell Loom. Yeah, that's it. Uh, in fact, I bought this uh, pen from the... Uh, Pen thing store and uh, Brian sent it to me and uh, I can't wait to share this beautiful fountain pen with you all so here is the the case it comes in I like fountain pen cases and this is a neat one with the bridge and everything and Piper Castell you know on the cover of it uh, and then you can take the whole box out of the sleeve if you want and then you see the fiber castell logo really nicely done a really nice presentation on the box and then you can pull it out and here is this magnificent beautiful fountain pen i have been wanting one for some time here is the fountain pen and the pen comes with the instructions on the pen telling you about your loom. This is the piano version. I've been wanting this for some time and I finally said, you know what, I am going to do it. Now, this pen will attract fingerprints. So, if you're not into that, stay away from it. But, if you're like me and you like beauty, the piano version is right for you. You can always get a polishing cloth or a tissue and just polish this baby right on up beautiful fountain pen I like the screen uh, the uh, springy clip on it works really nice and on top of the finial I do like the fiber castell logo that's on top really is a beautiful writing instrument uh, the only thing I don't like about the looms are that the cap is kind of tight to pull off but that's not a biggie for me nice snap and then it comes off but you know it does post securely that's another plus and it really has a nice nib um, the fiber castell does mark their nibs which is really cool because there's uh, a lot of uh, nibs I've seen out there that are not marked by whoever but this tells you this is a broad nib and it has the fiber castell logo and it's nicely done small nib but a really powerful nib and you know if you go down to the, the grip uh, now it's not slick at all and they have uh, five uh, little rings on here to help you place your fingers on the grip so that's cool but it's not slippery this on the barrel would be slippery but not on the grip so that's a, a good idea from loom because uh, a lot of people don't like slippery uh, grips it doesn't matter to me one way or the other what matters to me is that nib but this is really helpful now I'll take that off let's see what's inside and it does come with a standard cartridge the short ones right here but I ordered a converter a fiber castell converter it's a shame these pins don't come with converters that you have to buy them I hope fiber castell if you're listening why don't you start adding your converters to your pins you've got a great pin so there it is right there and so that's the only complaint that I have is uh, it doesn't come with the cartridge but other than that everything is fine with the pen and I'll put everything back up let me put this right down here and we're going to get to right here in a few. 
and I think I'm going to be using Mr. Announcer to do the honors. That is the Papier Plume Black. For the first time, I'm going to try the Papier Plume Black. And believe it or not, I don't have any Fiber Castell inks. Not a one. I couldn't believe it. When I looked through my stash, I said, what? No Faber Castell inks? Oh, no. But I don't have it. So I will be using the Papier Plume Black, which is a pretty decent black. And it has my attention. So I'll be back, and uh, we're going to show uh, you uh, how the, the pen writes, uh, do some pen comparisons, and... Uh, there you have it. Okay, back to this beautiful fountain pen. And once again, let me say again, uh, the loom will hold fingerprints. So if you're the type of person that just can't stand it, then this pen's not for you. But if you don't mind it, fine. Because I love the pen myself, and I'll just go ahead and polish it off and get fingerprints off it, shine it up. I love the fountain pen. It really is a super nice pen. Very affordable for the price around, what, 40, 45 bucks? So, the, the length of the pen when it's closed is 5.1 inches. The pen does post and uh, it is 6 inches. The body weight of the pen is 26 G's. Uh, the cap of the uh, the weight of the cap is going to be 7 G's. So in overall weight, you're going to have 33 G's coming at you. Cartridge or converter. Remember, it does not come with a converter. That's extra. That's a bummer. I know it, but that's how it is in the world of sometimes fountain pens. Hopefully one day, Faber Castell will start putting in their uh, converters for us. Okay. <clears throat> Now, uh, a few other fiber castells I have is the blue metallic and then the orange cap one. Very beautiful fountain pens. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. And uh, I've been waiting a long time, and I decided to get this one, and I'm glad I got it. A few more pen comparisons real quick. Get it close to the pen. It's going to be metropolitan. Kind of close. Give you an idea against the Lamy All Star and against the Jin Hao 750. All right, there you go. Let's give you an idea about the pen. So, I think it's about that time to do a little bit of writing comparison to see how this baby writes. And here we go. And dog. And we'll check for wetness. And it is a wet one. Look at that. Beautiful. Just how I like my uh, pens to flow. It's just really nice. Upside down. And you do get some great line variation. If you want to write upside down, you get it by a, a fine. So what I want to do right now 
is pull out my other loom and I'm just going to dip it in some KWZ Hawaii Blue because this is a medium nib and I want to show you the difference between the medium and broad. I'll just dip that little jewel in there. I don't know about you guys, but here in Fort Worth, Texas, it's just a beautiful 97 degrees sunny. And I'm the summertime guy. Love it. All righty. And we'll check for wetness and wet. Another nice one. So let's compare these. Here's the broad nib on the downstroke, and here's the medium nib on the downstroke. It's a bit more, uh, you have a bit more water of a downstroke than on the medium. There's your cross stroke, and here's the broad, and you can tell the difference. Both pins write extremely well. I really am satisfied with the outcomes of the loom, and uh, I picked this one up over at the pin thing store from Brian Freelander and I'll be talking about his place a little bit on Sunday live chat he's moved same same area just down the street and I'll tell you a little bit more about that on live chat Sunday so here they are these are the three little jewels I have beautiful fountain pens I really do enjoy them so if you're in the market for a good fountain pen, a reliable fountain pen, you can take it to the bank. Loom rocks. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I know I enjoyed the video today. Leave your comments below. Peace. Don't text and drive, folks. <laughs>